To this day, Nino Brown boxing, and I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So, my man, Mr. Gary Russell Jr., is back at it again, setting the motherfucking record straight. Basically, what's going on right now, after Gary Russell said that he's willing to accept the 1.5 that um, Team Haney offered, even though originally he wanted that two, that 2 million offer, he went down and said, okay, let's make the fight happen. And apparently after that, um, Team Haney, Eddie Hearn, DeZone, whatever the case may be, is starting to add additional stipulations to the 1.5. Gary Russell made it clear. He said the only stipulation that should be added to this contract is a rematch clause. Anything outside of that is ridiculous. So to me, this just sounds mighty familiar. And if you don't recall, to me, this reminds me of the situation with Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder and the whole Eddie Turn situation. When Joshua said that he wanted to be undisputed, the only way to become um, undisputed at the time was to face the WBC champ, Deontay Wilder. Now, instead of just putting the fight all on the table, I face you, you face me, we put a rematch clause in there and make it do what it do, they wanted to throw extra stipulations on Wilder. They wanted to say, oh, you have to have, you need to fight um, on the zone, you need to fight Dillian White and all of this extra bullshit. This is the same fucking recipe that they're trying to hit Gary Russell with, but now it's the Haney's and Eddie Hearn telling Gary Russell, "Hey, accept the 1.5, or you the new well the new um, the new ducking is pricing yourself out. Take the 1.5. Gary Russell takes 1.5, and what you do, you move the damn goalpost. All I gotta say is every single person." They called out Anthony Joshua and um, Eddie Hearn when this shit was happening to Wilder. I'm just going to sit back and watch and see if that same energy is kept from Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Because he was he was criticized. He's been criticized for only fighting once a year. Now he's saying that he's planning on fighting twice this year. Cool. He's saying he wants to fight. Um, he wants to. He wanted to face Terrence Crawford. Okay, that fight's not going to happen. It is what it is. Devin Haney inserted himself. Said he'll fight you for the 1.5. They at this, you know, few back and forth communications. They agreed to the 1.5, and now the goalpost is being moved again. If you're gonna start talking about some ducking and strategically moving around, it looking like that's team handing to me. I don't give a fuck if that's who you like, that's who you know, that's who you roll with. Call the fucking spade a spade. It looking like team Haney really don't want that smoke, even though they inserted themselves into this situation. Gary Russell Jr. made it clear. He said they got until Friday, and he got to make, you know, he got he, he he said they got they got until Friday. That's the time. It shit expires by Friday. So we'll see if they stick to what they said. 1.5 million Gary Russell moving up in weight against um Devin Haney. Fuck additional fights on the zone. Stop adding extra stipulations in the contract. Is Haney versus Russell title on the line. That's it. We'll see how this shit play out. It's Nino Brown boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm out.